Hey guys and welcome to part 7 of Let's Play The Simpsons game and as you remember we're still on this level which is... oh it's a long level this one it's quite tricky got some more street fighters to fight on the streets obviously yeah it's doing the game engine we've got to a checkpoint and we'll be doing the rest of the video finishing this level and there's Donkey Kong don't worry we'll save Professor Frank for the end because obviously everyone cares about Professor Frank, you know. When I think about Simpsons characters that I can't do without, it's Professor Frank. So yes, yeah, my first death. I there. This part will feature a lot of deaths. So if you're a fan of watching someone die, you, you're in luck, because this is the place to come. Because I do that quite a few times. <laughs> That's twice already. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, maybe I could have done it in one part, one really long part, but if I cut out all the deaths, but I mean, people want to see what not to do, right? I mean, you know, it's a very tricky game, this one. People want to know what to do and what not to do. And what you're meant to do is get up there before the... and not do that. Yeah, I didn't actually see the ladder the first time. I don't know what you're thinking, how, how could he miss the ladder? And there we go, missed it again. So yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with how it's going so far. Oh god. But yeah, with Professor Frink, he's a he's an alright character in The Simpsons. If anyone wondered my opinion of him, there's like there's a lot better sub characters though. Like it's a shame that Troy McCure McCure McClure oh whatever you know the Troy guy. <laughs> Um, and Lionel Hutz. Um, it's a shame they. Also, I think they were last seen in season eight. No, because Lionel Hutz was in Reality Bites, which is season nine, I think. So yeah, I reckon they were last seen in season nine. I think Troy might have been in season ten actually, briefly. But yeah, because obviously the guy died, so <laughs> that meant he couldn't voice anymore. Which is a shame, because they were the best bit characters, you know out of all the other characters, apart from maybe like Mr. Burns and Sasha Bob they were like two of the best, they were really funny and yeah there's a lot of blood I mean I don't know if they've ever played a Simpsons game before but not many Simpsons games has this much blood oh I remember this bit, this bit's a bit tricky because you know how I always have problems with the the zip lines Guess what? I still have problems with the zip line. I think it is because of the keyboard. I mean, I don't, I'm not making up excuses here. You know, I would never do that, but I'm pretty sure it's because of the zip line. Uh, and they—they're pretty much instant death, so that's you know, awful. Safe, it's an for so for yeah, honor. let's go back over here. This is going to take me a few, a few tries, folks. I'm afraid because. It's uh yeah, quite tricky getting past all these sword blades without horrifically dying. Because they do just they're pretty much an instant kill. I mean thank god there are no lives, right? Because yeah, what you gotta do, you gotta wait till it goes down, jump off and go on the sit line. It sounds simple, and for most people it is. <laughs> In case you were wondering, my plan was to hit that little light. I thought maybe I can hit that light and get some get something, I mean I don't know. I think to make the sibling mechanic work better, that would be fantastic. I should, but no. Trust me, you can't hit that light. I can't remember what that light's for, actually. I'm sure it'll come in useful, but yeah, don't do a me and try and hit that light over and over. If there's something you can hit, then you can always it's like it'll auto lock onto it when you fire upwards. So yeah. That's something that's quite obvious to me now, but looking back on it, you know, looking back on it, I look like quite the prick. So wait, for Blade to go down. God, what? Okay, what games was it that made like these saw blades popular? Because mate, I never like I've had a NES. I played NES games, and I can't remember. And okay, I didn't really play Super NES games, but. I I played Mega Drive a lot and all the old consoles, but I don't remember the you know the classic video game cliche which is saw blades. 
Like what game do they feature in? So like how Doom has the key feature, you know, when someone talks about coloured keys, you know they're talking about Doom. And then the platforming obviously is Mario, so So it's like yeah, I don't know where saw blades are meant to come from. If anyone has an answer, you know, hit it up in the comments. And I'm finally up here, thank god. So yeah, let's wrestle with the blowy up thingy thing. Yeah, the trick is to go up, and then go down, and then before you hit the ground, go back up again. Which I think I mentioned in another part where I had trouble with this. Because, yeah, I don't know why they... Hmm. I mean, I do like this game, but it's kind of like... It's one of those things where, obviously, it's rushed, like I've said before, and... But it, it doesn't... It really doesn't make any sense to have a system like this, where you just can't... Like, it should be simple. It should be simple. But no, they just have to make it awkward like this. I don't know if they game tested this game. <laughs> like, they had some testers, like, yeah, I had some problems with the blowy thing. It's like, nah, you didn't. It's like, well, I, I did have some problems. Nah, we've, we've already made the game. You could have told us this later. Ah, just make it anyway. People will buy it. Oh, God. Yeah, straight away, dead. Should have really took my time, but I'm busy, you know, I've got a place to be. And luckily, God helps us out again. He's such a great character, that guy. Always willing to help out. Uh, yeah, I don't think you won that all the way down. I've got a feeling that I've... Yeah, I didn't even try to make that jump. You want it a bit upwards, because... At least it's a high jumper, so... You want that up so you can get up to this top platform. Yeah, just some more standard puzzles. Lisa Bart Stiley. I'm not sure why there's two Lisa and Bart levels. There's two Lisa and Bart levels, there's two Homer and Bart levels, so I don't know. I have to see how it, maybe there's two of each character set. Because I know there's a Homer and Marge level coming up. And yeah, I don't know. Oh god, I'm back here. <laughs> Stupid vent. No, don't do that. I was I was very you know, worried then, so I almost fell down. If I fell down, I would like kill myself. And on the game, that is not in real life. I wouldn't be that upset that I would kill myself. I think I would get over it somehow, some way. Oh god, what's the street fighter doing back up here? Get out of here! There we go. So yeah, as you can see, even with my mess ups, this is a long level. I reckon this is probably the longest in the game. I'm gonna say. I mean, I haven't played every single level yet, but I'm sure it is the longest in the game. I'm gonna stick by that. This is definitely a hundred percent the longest level in the game, and you can't prove me wrong. And yeah, quite a tricky jump, but you know, I manage it. Yeah, I can't move Lisa up there. Yeah, just working through this area. Not much going on at the moment. So yeah, speaking of The Simpsons, I bought season two the other day, finally, on DVD. It's such a great season. It's like it's one of the best. Definitely. Well, I don't know, but it's good to watch old Simpsons compared to like new Simpsons. It's like every time I kind of like I know old new Simpsons is pretty bad, but then every time I kind of think about it, I kind of forget. And then when I come to watching a new episode, I go, "Oh, that wasn't half bad." And then I go and watch an old episode and think, God, this is just ten times better. Yeah, the thing is, the you got to avoid those lasers that are, for some reason, just shooting down at conveyor belt. I mean, I'm all for destruction of conveyor belts, but come on, guys, a bit harsh. Yes, we're finally out of this level, or that part anyway. I think this part's not too bad. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. God, run, run, go, 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 Don't let EA crush you. Oh, God. See, somehow I didn't die. I have no idea how I managed that, but... You could say I'm very skilled. I would say that. And here we go, here's another homage to another game. We've already had Frogger. And, uh, some other stuff, but this actual level is based around Donkey Kong, as you have to key for his barrels at you, and you have to... Well, for some reason in this one you have to just pick up all these things. What you're meant to do is go and pick up every single one and then he just dies. 
fits obviously that's how I would be a giant ape. I would go fight some people who can shoot laser like energy balls at my face and just pick up all their metal poles. They don't like that. See, I thought we I just had to get to the top. So that's what I was trying to do. I just thought it was like a semi puzzle. It's like I can't get up there. I better go over here. So yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, and I fell down. And this is quite annoying, this part, I'll be honest. Because you kind of, they respawn. I think they're doing it. Oh no, they don't. Oh, that's cool. Now, this part isn't too bad then. But it is annoying fighting them anyway, so. Especially when you're low in health and can't even make that jump, like me. Because you have to kill that guy or else he'll just kill you when you're summoning God. Right, avoid the barrels, by the way. And I'm going to die. Ah, <laughs> okay, back up we go. Come on, Lisa. All you have to do is beat up some ninja guy or some fighting guy. Jesus. It's not that hard. Right, finally, kill that guy. Good riddance, if you ask me. Right, I can fill up this thing, and... I was just... I don't think I can go to the left, but... Okay, we're trying to find... We're trying to save Professor Porter at the moment. Did you see what I did there? And uh, uh I thought I might as well just pull this one out because that's what you're meant to be doing. So. But I can't actually get up any further at this point. What do I? What do I do? Let's, I do something. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty simple. I feel like an idiot for questioning myself. There we go, let's go over them. See, yeah, yeah, Donkey Kong is running back. That's just, it's out of order, really. It's really out of order. Okay, and then this isn't the last one, if I remember right. Yeah, I've still got one more to do, so. And I'm dead, so that saves me some time. No, don't go for that hand, me. Go for this hand. And after this hand, Donkey Kong is going to just die for no apparent reason, so I will, uh, See you in the next part. Bye. Thanks, Professor. Now we can take this book back to Mom and Dad and stop those aliens. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, no, no. My place is here. I've, uh, I've made a life for myself in this world with my lovely new bride. Finally, a woman who understands me. She is my everything. Why, <laughs> oh, why, oh, oh, and she's funny too. Oh, oh, oh I'm very happy. Whoa.